Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back. This is my Xbox One collection video as of February 9th, 2017. It's not that big. Um, I got my Xbox One Christmas 2015. 2015. And I've gotten rid of a few games, but I've kept most of them. And um, there's nothing like too special here. There's a few that are okay. And I'm trying to find a good light. Oh, that's good. Right there. Got my lamp to provide light because there's like no lighting in this room. Which I don't mind because I don't, I don't like the dark light. Anyway, guess I'm a vampire. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, so we're going to start off from left to right and then we're going to go down. Uh, by the way, I don't have some of the newer games. I have a few newer games, but nothing too crazy. Uh, cause I'm not into the same games as everyone else. I like what I like. It's kinda like if you're into Nintendo. Uh, so the first we got Life is Strange. This was actually surprisingly good. I bought it, um, like, maybe a few weeks after it came out on a disc in, uh, the Microsoft Store for 30 bucks. I'd say it was worth it. I mean, it's not that long, but I really enjoyed it. Then we've got Batman and the Telltale series, the only Telltale game I own, because near my house we have a rental store, and they have video games there. So I usually when I'm renting, I mean usually when I'm going to play a Telltale game, I'll just get it there. But I'm a pretty big Batman fan, so I figured I'd need Batman in the Telltale series. Okay. <laughs> uh, next we've got Batman Return to Arkham, which is Arkham Asylum and Arkham City in one package. Uh, yeah, really good. I don't know why people are like, Ugh, uh, Return to Arkham sucks. It never works. Um, it's never crashed on me. I've never had an issue with it. And, uh, really good games. Great games, actually. Almost perfect. Arkham City is one of my favorite games of all time, so, you know. And we've got Batman Arkham Knight, which also was really good. Um, I like... So, the order of the ones that I like are number four is Arkham Origins, number three, Arkham Asylum, two, Arkham Knight, and number one, Arkham City. And Arkham Knight, uh, I thought was really good, and I, I think... That one has the best combat, but it just, um, the bat, uh, what's it called? Why can't I think of it? Batmobile controls, I mean, the Batmobile segments kind of suck. Oops. There we go. Uh, so next we've got Shadow of Mordor, Middle Earth. Shadow of Mordor, and I played this a few weeks before Christmas, because I was kind of bored, and I was waiting for all my new games. I just had this... Uh, sitting on my shelf for a while and at first when I played it I didn't like it but I'm like oh, I'll try it out why not and um, I played it thought it was really great not like as good as a lot of other people thought it was but I thought it was really fun we've got Mad Max this game I think sucks this game really sucks I got it for my birthday before I got my Xbox, a lot of games I actually got before I got my Xbox, because I wanted to stock up. Like Arkham Knight, I got in the summer 2015 on launch, and uh, that was before I got my Xbox. But Mad Max just sucks. It's boring as hell, and I'm not gonna get rid of it because I mean they sell that for like ten dollars at, at GameStop. I don't know how much I'd get for it. Probably like four. So, not worth selling. Maybe I'll play it someday. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. This is a great game. I uh, highly suggest this to anyone. And uh, I gotta play Rise of the Tomb Raider still. I don't have it, but I'll play it. We got Saints Row 4 um, get out of, and Get Out of Hell. I just got this for Christmas. I know it's an older game. Well, not that old, but uh, I really like Saints Row 3. That was a really fun game, and it was free with games uh, games with gold at one point. And this game is actually on sale a lot on the Xbox store, 
But Sensor 4 I thought was still really good. I didn't think it was as good as Sensor 3 though. So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, and then we've got Mafia 3, which got very mixed reactions. And same for me too. So I played Mafia 2, like maybe a few years ago at this point. Yeah, a few years ago. And I really loved Mafia 2. I'm a big fan of gangsters, mafia, you know, the mob, which is the mafia, all that type of thing. And uh, it really interests me. So Mafia 3, I heard, was coming out. And then it did come out. I didn't get it on launch because I waited for Christmas. I don't like to get games for $60 that much, except for some reason I'm going to pay $100 for Justice 2 Ultimate Edition. <laughs> I don't know why. But, uh, so I played it. It took me a little while to get through because I just kind of get, kept getting bored. And that's the problem with this. The story is amazing. It's a really great story in this one. Really great. But the gameplay is the same thing over and over again. I almost dropped that. Or if my cat-like reflexes, I would have dropped it. But really great story. Kind of boring gameplay, but I know you've already all heard about this this issue. Uh, so Dead Rising, don't really have much to say, haven't really played it. I put it in, I played like 20 minutes of it. It's pretty good so far. Uh, I'll play it someday. And then Dead Rising 2, I got this free with Games for Gold on Xbox 360. And then this came out, so I got this for Christmas. And Dead Rising 3, which is the day one edition, which I picked up obviously after day one. I'm standing. Uh, after day one because I didn't have an Xbox one on day one so uh, yeah uh, those three people really like and uh, I did beat Dead Rising 3 by the way and I'm sitting down again because it's a really weird angle and there's my chair oh. alright <laughs> um, yeah I be did beat that that was really good so yeah, check it out. Check out Dead Rising in general. And I don't have Dead Rising 4. I'll get it at some point, but it just looks like it's different. So, State of Decay, new one survival edition. Uh, I don't really like this game that much. Kind of bored me. Gonna move on. Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. This is the Steelbook Edition. And this is the Amazon Steelbook. So it's different from the Best Buy one. It's just the same thing on both sides. But everything else in it was the same. No special anything. Just a steelbook. Which I like steelbooks. So that was cool. And it was 60 but Well no it was 40. Because we got Black Friday sale. Um, yeah I really like Skyrim. And I'm happy that it has mods. Uh, I haven't played too much of it. I played like 10 hours. So I gotta put more time into that. Fallout 4 on the other hand. I put fucking tons of time in like 120 hours into that game love fallout 4 so much and uh i need to get the dlc but i'm cheap so i'm gonna wait till it's cheap which i mean the season pass was like 20 30 no 30 dollars at one point i should have gotten it then but i didn't uh, next two go together, we've got Wolfenstein, The Old Blood, which is the standalone DLC to Wolfenstein The New Order. Both are really great. I do like The New Order a bit, like, more. Um, and we're going to Shooters now. Should have mentioned that before when we started with Fallout. But, um, yeah, these are kind of like the classic shooter, like the new version of the classic shooters. But Wolfenstein, New Order, and The Old Blood are both great games. You can get them pretty cheap. Doom? This game is fucking amazing. I love Doom. Wow, I just said. I'm cursing now. I didn't even realize it. I uh, love Doom. I played it for a while when it when I got it. I got it the beginning of the summer of 2016. Because it was the end of school and my shaky cam juice. And uh, my parents were like, oh yeah, you did really good. I'll get you something. And thus, Doom. Doom. Uh, Duke Nukem 3D, 20th Anniversary World Tour. I love Duke Nukem. I think it's awesome. He's awesome. 
This is a great game, and for myself, I hadn't played Duke Nukem before. I played this, and it was really great. I love classic shooters. Wolfenstein 3D, the original Doom, Doom 2, and uh, Quake. Serious Sam even kind of counts. Love classic shooters. Play them mostly on PC, but I'm not a PC person, so yeah. Alright, now here's the hard part because we had OK Light up there. Down here, we're not gonna have as great light because I mean, I could put the lamp like that, but then when I go in, we get a shadow. So I gotta speak up a little bit, otherwise, you won't be able to hear me. We're gonna just go like, like this, and it won't stay there. Um, I know it's an issue that I should be doing off camera, but I'm too lazy for that. All right, like this. That's how I want it, but it won't stay like that. So we're just gonna go like this. No, we're not. How about like that? Let's just go with it. Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Not a big Halo uh, person myself. Not into Halo that much. But I did just buy this because it's Halo and it's Xbox. You have to have a Halo game if you have an Xbox. Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, this is Steelbook. And I only buy Call of Duty when I can get the Steelbook for really cheap. Um, so I can, I got this for 20 bucks. I can get the Advanced Warfare one right now for 30, which I might do. And here's the Steelbook. So, that's really cool. That was the Hardened Edition, I think. I think it was the Hardened Edition. Yeah. Uh, next is probably my favorite shooter that I've played online. Uh, I'll just bring them out. Titanfall. I love Titanfall. I don't have Titanfall 2, but Titanfall, really great game. I put a little over 24 hours into that, which doesn't seem like that much for some of you who play Xbox all the damn time. But I have other things and other interests that I like. Um, I mean, my main two interests are video game, video games and comic books. So, yeah, this is going to be mostly a comic book channel, but I figured I'd show this off anyway. Uh, next, we got Battlefield Hardline. I got this for like 30 bucks, brand new, when it was still like, it was February 2016, or maybe the end, yeah, the end of January. I got this, like, brand new for 30 bucks, so I'm like, hell yeah, I'll take that. Then we got Star Wars Battlefront Deluxe Edition. I was really excited for this game. I got it for Christmas, hearing okay reviews, but then my friend said how great it was, and he still plays this game. Uh, I, I don't like it. I mean, I did play it two days ago with my friend online. We played it together, it was fun, but eh, it's kind of boring. Payday 2, the big score. I really need to get into this game. I need to get a bunch of friends together and just play it because I played Payday 2 on Xbox 360. I rented that and I played with these two stoner guys online who were like always super high, but they were really good at the game. I actually learned how to play pretty well and I made a bunch of money online, so that was pretty good. But I only had the game for five days, so. That sucked. Far Cry 4. Amazing open world shooter. Um, love this game. Absolutely love this game. Great game. Best shooter of 2014? Probably. I think I'm going to give it best shooter of 2014. Oh, wait, did Wolfenstein come out in 2014? I think I like Far Cry more than Wolfenstein, though. So, uh, yeah. The Lego Movie video game. Uh, I got this for Christmas also. I need to finish this. Uh, and I have played it before in the 360. But I just kind of didn't play it. I mean, I got rid of it because I, I was getting Xbox One. And I wanted to get the Xbox One version. So, yeah. And uh, I'm going to 
beat that 100% because I'm one of those people who's into achievements and stuff. Disney Infinity 2.0. I got this because it was two bucks. Adds to the collection. And the real game here is Disney Infinity 3.0. And by the way, I used to play the shit out of 2.0 on the 360. Uh, I got that like Christmas 2015. Played the living shit out of it for like the first week. And uh, yeah, but we got Disney Infinity 3.0, which is pretty much 2.0, but better. And um, yeah, these games have really simplistic covers, so. Uh, it kind of sucks that they canceled Disney Infinity. So, no more Disney Infinity, which kind of sucks because, well, that's the Toys to Life game that I chose. And I've actually got a good amount of figures now. Because. For a while at like a ton of stores they were on clearance for like a few bucks each so yeah but now you can't get them at stores anymore which sucks uh then we got project spark yeah i don't know why i have that uh guitar hero live i i wanted a guitar hero game because i love guitar hero and um yeah, I should have gotten Rock Band. Well, I mean, I wanted a music game. I should have gotten Rock Band. But this actually was 20 bucks at a thrift shop. Like, a few days after Christmas, my mom was dropping something off at the Salvation Army. Christmas 2015, that is. 16. 15. Which means I got Disney Infinity 2.0 in 2014. Okay, anyway, I'm confusing myself. Um... But yeah, and she went in just to look see what they had. And they had Guitar Hero Live for 20 bucks. And my mom's like, oh shoot, I just got him an Xbox One. I'm sure he'd play this. And, uh, well, I put about two hours into the game. Because I don't like any of the songs. But other than that, it was a pretty good game if you like the songs. NBA 2K14, not a big NBA person. Uh, and then we got NBA Live 15, which I played like once. Madden 25. Yeah, I just have all these random sports games. Uh, not a big sports game person, but Madden 25. I'm gonna get 2K17 because my friend wants me to get it. Uh, the one sports game that I actually got into is UFC. I play this so much, and this I still play. I was actually just playing it. No, I didn't play it earlier. I did play it yesterday. I play it like every day. Um, I play a few rounds every day. It is so fun. I absolutely love this game. Uh, and I gotta get UFC too. But UFC is so good if you learn how to play. Um, a mission is complex. It's very complex. And everybody that I tell that I play it, he's like, dude, you're fucking god if you can play UFC. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. I am, I am god. Uh, <laughs> and I can probably be any of those friends in a 1v1. Waiting for my one friend to get it so that I can kick his ass in it. Anyway, that's it. That's my Xbox One collection. Uh, I wanted to go into detail. And I'm probably going to do one of these, like, every four months or so. So three a year. Um, well, no, because it's February now. So maybe I should have waited till April. April? April. Um, but yeah, I don't get Xbox One games that frequently. Because they're more expensive than, like, a DVD. Which, that's the next collection video. But, they're more expensive than a DVD. So... I mean, my DVD collection will continue thriving, like, faster than my Xbox One collection. Uh, but yeah, so, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, maybe consider subscribing. If you actually lasted 20 minutes. Um, I'm gonna be posting more videos. I just kinda, you know, need to get my self together. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. That was the lamest goodbye ever. I'm sorry. Uh, have a nice day. That's better.